Okay, so you know when you're about to go out for a shoot, you've got all your equipment ready, you've got one last thing you need to do, and that is just to quickly clean your camera. But unfortunately, let's say that you forgot to do that or for whatever reason you're out shooting, some dust got onto your sensor when you were changing your lens or something. But anyway, you come home all excited about your footage and then you see this like dust particle. It's like the worst feeling you can ever feel really as a filmmaker, <laughs> at least for me. It just completely ruins all of your footage. But don't worry about it. There's a really easy way to fix this in Premiere that doesn't take long at all. So let's hop right into Premiere and let's go through it real quick. Okay, so I've got this really nice shot of this wharf, this pier, um, in the middle of Tai-O, and basically there's this little dust particle right on the left of that metal post. So basically what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go over to the effects, I'm going to search up dust and scratches, and I'm just going to drag it over top of my clip, and then from there to start I'm going to disable the effect, just so editing is a lot quicker, and then I'm going to create an ellipse mask just around the dust particle on the lens. And then from there, I'm going to change the feather of the ellipse to 30 and then just resize it a little bit again. And then I'm going to turn on the effect and change the radius of the dust and scratches effect to 30 as well. And I'm just going to render it real quick. And then as you can see, it's completely gone. You can check out the before and after right now and it completely just saves the entire shot. I know this is a really simple shot and you must be wondering, could this work as well? with a more complicated shot with more things going through the frame, perhaps a little bit of camera movement. So I have this shot here of our model, Sean, and basically there's this dust particle that goes across his face. There's a lot of camera movement here, so we're gonna give this a go. Basically, I'm gonna do the exact same thing, bring that dust and scratches effect onto the clip, disable that dust and scratches effect, and create an ellipse mask over top of the dust particle, and then bring that feather to 30, and then also bring the radius to 30 as well. Render that clip and watch it back, and as you can see, it is completely gone. There is no more dust particle and it looks really normal. But as you can see, check out this before and after. Just completely saves the shot. And I wish I'd known about this effect earlier. It would have been such a lifesaver for me. So that's why I wanted to make this video just because in my opinion, this would be super helpful. And I hope it's super helpful for you. If you did like the video, please leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. And I'll see you in next week's video.